2017 Kia Optima GT Review From Pound 18,9456 Kia's first attempt at a European sports saloon has creditable pace and purpose but wants for more dynamic finesse and true driver engagement. What is it? The Kia Optima GT, slated for introduction in UK showrooms in autumn 2017, is the most powerful production model that Kia has sold in Europe. Part of the gradual process of moving the perception of the Kia brand upmarket and giving its cars more of a developed in Europe handling feel, the Optima GT will become the second official performance derivative from Kia after the Seed slash Proceed GT of 2013. But it's also the first such model to benefit from the influence of recently installed Hyundai Kia performance car Supremo Albert Bierman. And Bierman's last job, in case you'd missed the rather eye-grabbing appointment, was engineering boss of BMW's M division. The story goes that Bierman asked to drive the latest prototype of the Optima GT when informed about its existence by his team of engineers in 2015 only to be told he was actually driving it at the time of asking. This is not a GT is reportedly how he responded, promptly sending the car back through the development process and ordering a more transformative job to be done on the car, including suspension, braking, steering, engine, transmission and interior. The Optima GT just launched in European markets is what has resulted, a car available as either a saloon or estate, with a 242bhp 2.0-liter turbocharged petrol engine, front-wheel drive, a near 150 mph top speed and the potential for sub-7.5 SEC 0 to 62 mph acceleration. All of which may not quite sound like the stuff of boyhood dreams, but for Kia, It's a bold effort to take on the brand equity and development expertise of some of Europe's biggest industry powers in a market niche that it wouldn't have contemplated entering 10 years ago. What's it like? The Optima GT breaks ground for Kia by adopting a new proprietary adaptive damping system, whose re-engineering for right-hand drive is the reason for the car's relatively late arrival in the UK. The suspension springs have also been shortened and stiffened relative to that of a normal Optima, its front anti-roll bar stiffened in line, its electromechanical power steering setup retuned for greater responsiveness and feedback, and its brake discs enlarged and uprated. Kia's Go Faster upgrade for the cabin is apparently less wide-ranging, though and it does little for an interior that looks plain in as many places as it plays up to the senses. The GT-stitched leather seat seems somewhat hard and flat in the cushion and lack width in the squab, failing quite to grip you like a sports seat really should. The instruments are rather dowdy by performance design standards, too. In other respects, the Optima GT's cabin is roomy, comfortable, and well-equipped, but it could just as easily belong to a high-output diesel. The 2.0-liter turbo petrol engine starts at the press of a chrome starter button and idles quietly, but it wastes no time in raising its voice as the car sweeps up to town speeds. You'll quickly sense why this is on your first trip beyond medium revs, it's not engine noise you're hearing but rather the overtures of Kia's dashboard-mounted active sound system sound actuator, as if avoiding calling it a speaker somehow makes the electronic skullduggery more acceptable. This a pretty brazen attempt to make the car's four-cylinder engine more rich and interesting on the ear, but both in normal and sport driving modes, it's simply overcooked. It's loud enough to sound decidedly awkward and contrived. And, unfortunately, there's no volume knob nor an off switch. The engine itself is more than potent enough to give the Optima a brisk turn of speed. It revs freely to beyond 6000 RPM, but it's a fairly conventional four-cylinder turbo in as much as it's at its best hauling the car along from lower medium revs. But the engine is paired to Kia's own six-speed automatic gearbox, there's no manual option, which seems a bit stretched when asked to handle a performance application. The transmission works respectively well in part throttle roll-on acceleration, but its speed of operation and lock-up characteristics are inconsistent. At low revs, It can feel slushy and elastic, and in manual mode, it often handles down changes in a delayed and abrupt fashion. It's a gearbox that doesn't respond well to being driven keenly, 
although it does a decent job when you're in no particular hurry. We'll keep impressions of the car's ride, handling and steering short and sweet here for two reasons. Firstly, because the 18IN rims of test car were fitted with winter tires and UK cars will come on proper European specification sporting rubber, and secondly, because the adaptive dampers will receive a bespoke software tune for UK roads. On the European suspension settings, the Optima GT's ride is quiet and fairly compliant in the car's echo and normal modes, but there's always a firm, niggly edge to it that's quickly exposed by an uneven surface. In sport mode, the picture gets firmer and more fidgeting still and bothersome enough to begin to undermine the car's credentials as a long-distance cruiser. The grip levels of our test car were limited and its steering feedback muted, as you'd expect on those winter tires. However, body control was respectable enough to suggest that the car might feel significantly different on its original fit tires. Should I buy one? Kia insiders suggest that the Optima GT will be sold in two trim levels, the cheaper of which should give it a list price a whisker away from £30,000. Which sounds reasonable enough. Sporty family saloons of this size don't amount to the thriving market niche they once did when the likes of the Ford Mondeo ST220 and Honda Accord Type R were around, leaving the car few direct rivals. Few but not none. Even at that fairly affordable level, there are the likes of the Skoda Octavia VRS and the Audi S3 saloon to keep the Kia honest. And on this evidence, the Korean firm has a way to go before it'll finally achieve its ambition and beat the Europeans at their own long-practiced performance fettling game. Admittedly only on first acquaintance and with much about its true dynamism still to be established, the Optima GT feels very much like a car from a manufacturer still feeling its way into one of the more sophisticated and challenging parts of the European car market. It'll clearly take more than a high-profile fugitive engineer from Bavaria to change that. Kia Optima GT Location Frankfurt, Germany On sale September 2017 Price circa £30,000 Engine 4 sills 1,998 cubic centimeters, turbo, petrol. Power 242 bhp. Torque 258 pounds foot. Gearbox 6 SPD automatic. Curb weight 1,580 kilograms. 0 to 62 miles per hour 7.4 SEC. Top speed 149 miles per hour. Economy 34.4 mpg. CO2 slash tax band 191g slash km, 35%.